Hey everybody, Fabio here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be in Sketchbook looking at some awesome tools that are gonna help you add light and shadow to your characters. This isn't gonna be a tutorial about the principles of adding light and shadow. We're just gonna be looking at some very useful tools that Sketchbook has that I like to use in my workflow. Here's the piece I'm working on. We're gonna add some light and shadows to it. I have my line art on the top and my color art underneath. I'm gonna start painting the shadows first and I'm gonna use the blend mode multiply to help me out. I'll create a new layer on top. I'll set the blend mode to multiply. And then for the brush, it doesn't matter what brush I use, I'm gonna use the Copic stove, why not? And for the color, we're gonna do a nice neutral blue, a nice cool shadow color. For the sake of this tutorial, we're gonna use the same light as our reference. So it's gonna be screen right and a little bit in front of our character. Let's start with the head. So starting at the furthest point away from the light, right? This is gonna be the darkest part. And I'm just gonna put everything that I think is gonna be in shadow, I'm gonna paint it with my multiply brush. So like the side of the head, it's gonna cast a shadow here onto the hair. And the great thing is, it's just like I'm painting, literally painting in the shadows because of the blend mode. So it doesn't matter if the colors change, the shadows are gonna follow that color. So it's an awesome way to quickly paint in some light because of the multiply blend mode. We didn't have to pick any colors and we just had to think about where the light wasn't hitting. If we were to continue to add shadows to the whole character, we would get something that looks like this. All right, so I went in, I took my time, and I outlined the entire character with my multiply brush. Now we're still missing one thing. I think I'm gonna add some light now to make it really pop. And we're gonna use kind of the same technique. We're gonna add a new layer, but instead of doing multiply, we're gonna do overlay. When painting light, I actually like to use the basic airbrush in Sketchbook, and I'm gonna set it to a nice warm color. So like yellowish red and a little bit bright up here. So now when I go in to paint my light, I'm thinking about what is closest to my light source and painting that in first. So using this combination of overlay and the airbrush, it lets me really press kind of hard and build up my light strength. So the nose is pretty close to my light source, so I want to make that bright. But I can press really hard and the change is very subtle. Right, maybe the forehead is going to be hit by some light. So I'm pressing, 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 but it's still a very subtle change. Right, the cheeks as well are going to be facing the light, so I'll, I'll hit those. And right, I don't have to worry about all the different colors underneath because I'm in my overlay blend mode. So if we zoom out, the face looks pretty good and we turn off our overlay. The difference is pretty crazy. So it pops a lot, I find, especially if you do this right, it can really, really add a lot to your pieces. So using those principles, if we were to go over the whole character, we would have something that looked like this. Okay, so the, the, we went over the whole piece. If we turn this off, you can really see the difference. And if it's too strong, you can kind of just turn down the opacity a bit, adjust that as well. So those are two blend modes I use, guys, for every piece that I do to kind of help me get started where my light and shadows are gonna be. If you're really feeling you wanna experiment, you can change the blend mode to like glow, soft glow, and just experiment, right? See what, uh, I think that's pretty cool. See what cool effects you can get. That's all the time we have for today. I hope you learned something about multiply, overlay, and blend modes in general. So that's it for now. Get out there, guys. Experiment. Have some fun. That's what this is all about. And I'll see everybody in the next video. As always, if you have any questions or comments, comment them below, and I'll do my best to get back to you.